Okay, let's, uh, let me introduce myself. My name is Francesco Sanvito, and I'm a postdoc researcher at UDelft, and I'm working with Stefan Fenninger and Francesco Lombardi, who is here today too. And today I would like to I would like to present to you the soon to um, to be um, available uh, upgrades of Calliope. This is the the soon to be released upgrades of the framework. How many of you are familiar already with Calliope? Please raise your hands. Great. Okay. So that's why we might need like a very short introduction of what Calliope is. Calliope is a uh, an open source, of course, um, energy system modeling framework. And I think the ability of uh, modeling different spatial scales, so basically it's a mod, um, I would say a scale agnostic tool. I think it's a, I mean, it's best um, suit, I would say. And we are collaborating with different institutions, academic institutions, and also private sector. But what's new? of Calliope version 0 0.7. Uh, those are the main things. So we um, we opted for uh, basically get rid of Payomo, at least, you know, um, leaving it as an option. Um, we decided to go for a more math-based syntax in order to increase the understandability of, uh, of the core code. And um, this is yet to come, but we would like also to um, give the user the, um, the ability to, um, to input data in different formats. And um, why is that better? Um, it's better because it's faster. Um, we prove that there is a um, definitely reduced uh, memory footprint. And again, I mean, this is very connected to what you said before, we have a silver uh, coin, right? Um, the silver coin is basically, and also related to accessibility. I really liked what Ludwig said before, uh, because we are dealing with uh, very cumbersome and huge models, hundreds of gig gigabytes, you know, of memory in order to produce even, you know, the, the models. And this is kind of a barrier for everyone. And uh, again, um, having like a more math-based syntax means also kind of being more able to engage people and uh, make them really be like the, the center of the modeling process, uh, being, I mean, uh, empowering them in order to introduce, you know, new constraints and so on. And uh, I just want to uh, show you how the, the, the model looked like before the restructuring. And uh, it was like, <laughs> some people are laughing, um, but now the, um, <clears throat> the restructuring of the constraint, it looks like this. It's like super clean, um, super straightforward, um, Boolean uh, operators uh, really, I mean, uh, stand out equations. That's um, how we mean, you know, having like a user-friendly um, um, code. Uh, but again, we did that for variables and so on. But we didn't do this just because we are we love nitty and gritty, stylish coding exercises. But we really think that transparency must be the goal, and we are sure that the uh, the four, in my opinion cornerstones of transparency is open data, open model, accessibility, and of course, understandability. Um, some highlights uh, from uh, my side. If you haven't seen the um, near optimal solution for Europe um, online explorer, um, please uh, type explore.calio.pe. And you will see that I'm just saying that because even Robin Morrison uh, missed the opportunity to have a look to it. But yesterday he caught up and uh, I'm working basically with um, transportation and energy system modeling integration. So if you're interested, please um, um, let's have a follow up and let's see. I mean, we are also um, working with NREL. So let's see what will come up with those overseas bright minds. So that's all from my side. Thanks a lot. And enjoy the rest of the day.